Mr. Beacon. slept in. I was supposed to get up at 2 o'clock and I had a look at the time at 8 o'clock and I missed the 2 o'clock meeting. I'll have a look if he's answered me. So, um, last night I didn't record the Zoom yesterday, so I'll run over quickly what I was going to talk about. <coughs> I'll go over 30 minutes because it won't, it'll stop me from recording on the Zoom because that's all I get 30 minutes. But I was really prepared for it. I've been tired yesterday, that's why. And I'm uh, still tired now, so I'll go back to sleep afterwards when I'm finished. But anyway, the Zoom meeting was going to be for 
the Mitchell family trust and the recovery of seventeen trillion US dollars spent on properties in Australia with three hundred and three shell companies set up by Eddie Mitchell, director in Hamilton, and who put the money um, the company, my company, Na Akua Ewa Aotea Limited, <coughs> through his um, a new company set up in Singapore with the IBC, International Baptist Church, and I've tracked that all the way through to Australia and uh, changed and reconstructed a name to Money Laundering and uh, Phoenix Activity, that's what they call Money Laundering, Phoenix Activity, reconstructed my company, registered here in New Zealand, Na Akua Ewa Aotea Limited, that's a share company for all shareholders here in New Zealand, um, set up for them a lease on the New Zealand native land um, to the British Crown and uh, with um, um, Paramount Chief Sita Waikato Whareke here in Manukau, uh, lease contract in 1823 with uh, King George IV um, and the British Crown, um, Westminster Parliament, and that uh, was 1833, and uh, that was for New Zealand, <coughs> lease native land, and he was from Nate, uh, from uh, um, Cambridge, New Zealand, to Cambridge, England. So that was what that was. He, he um, Charlie uh, Belly Pole, is a um, company, his company is um, um, Compliant Advantage, and I knew that company was with uh, Scarly France, <coughs> and uh, I used to be with Scarly um, way back as it was CAG Pay in 2009 when I joined Scarly around about then and as they were CAG pay uh, back then a money transfer company um, like more more like fintech back then and transferring money from one bank to another bank through Singapore and so that's what um, what um, comply advantage is doing and I've got this video on my website moaipowerhouse.world and M-O-A-I-P-O-W-E-R-H-O-U-S-E dot W-O-R-L-D <coughs> and go to the page called Confederation Sovereign and scroll right to the bottom, you'll see the videos there of Charlie uh, Belling Pole <coughs> there in London. Okay, so there you can watch him, and then I'll put him back on tomorrow morning on Zoom, but I'll see if he emails me back, and I'll apologize to him for not getting up at 2 a.m. in Auckland, New Zealand, and he was going to be 3 p.m. in London in the afternoon, and I thought I'd go and have a sleep for half an hour, like I normally do, and then get up at midnight or 1 o'clock, but I went to sleep about 10.30, <coughs> and, uh, and um, I didn't get up at I got up at 3 o'clock, 3 o'clock, and my half an hour is gone. Anyway, that's <coughs> what needs to happen, and uh, didn't happen, because I've missed my uh, Zoom with uh, Charlie, but never mind, we'll make it up tomorrow, I'll 
the essential work at the end. I'm going to just leave them because I was very tired and had a long day on the computer. And I think going to the gym and going into the sauna and spa put me to sleep. And uh, on the swimming pool yesterday and the gym um, put me right out and tired. Uh, so I apologise to the people. I apologise to Tati for not being here um, when I said I would be. So that's, um, I'll try again tomorrow from the schedule and my energy <coughs> and see if I can get up this one again. It'll be exciting to have him um, on the show. Okay, so I have Zooms every morning at, um, well, most every morning at 6 a.m., that was an odd one because on yesterday or this morning um, it was the times that uh, Zoom had <coughs> and I wanted to go on at 7 p.m. in London and 6 a.m. here would have been alright. I would have had plenty of time to get on. Um, but uh, anyway, that's the way it goes. Um, so... With um, that being said, I'm just saying that um, um, Eddie Mitchell, he, I knew him very well. I knew him for years, and he set up these companies in Hamilton, New Zealand, and uh, a registered office in his um, parents' house, and um, I stayed there in the house as well as an office for my business <coughs> with his office in there as well in my bedroom or his dad's bedroom there and that's where I met him and um, his brother Alfred was in a shed living in a shed in the house this was just last year so the money went missing last year 2023 Eddie Mitchell had a barrister and also a um, Freemason to put the information I had on free sticks that uh, I hear somewhere. Anyway, put them on a stick and gave it to him. Three of these sticks here, like that. I've got a few of those somewhere. And they are worth 17 trillion. sticks there with the information on them whoops
that he's going after with his software, the software for blockchain and companies that he can track down anywhere in the world. And uh, um, what's, what's his name? That, uh, that guy. drug dealers and the pedophiles, all those people that drug uh, cartels he's got <coughs> through his 250 um, employees working on their computers, similar to uh, fact checkers in Israel going after people and fact checking them on Facebook and YouTube and also running businesses to uh, dropping on anybody around the world on their Samsung um, TVs and cameras and uh, mobile phone computers, okay, to spy on you. And this guy, Jay, spies on this uh, young guy. <coughs> and uh, he's in with uh, uh, Mark Zuckerberg, all those guys, that's one of those young fellas that they'll be developing. Uh, he'll be about 35, 40 years old and knows what he's doing with computers. And um, I also got Jamie um, uh, Nut Nuttall. He's the um, accountant for Minor NYNA, Minor Accountants in London. So I've got his Zoom, I'm going on his Zoom on Wednesday, <coughs> our time, and it'll be Tuesday, his time, at uh, 3 p.m., I think it is. Um, um, no, something, no, no. Six. Wednesday anyway. I thought it was Sunday.
But anyway, that's um, I've got at least the accounting. We are rescheduled. The uh, video Zoom meeting, 30 minutes meeting with Charlie Bevan Pole uh, for tomorrow. Well, which would be his <coughs> uh, today, my my tomorrow, uh, the Wednesday. No, that's when I'm having my meeting with Jamie Nutter. I can't have it tomorrow. Friday, I said I'll do it on Friday. Okay, so I'll schedule it for Friday. My Friday is Thursday, and try and get a better time to have it. So, anyway, that's um, uh, going to clear that up. I'll do that afterwards. And um, what else I want to say? I'm getting back to the Zoom meeting and the uh, case, court case that we have for Eddie Mitchell, 61. Court case number 61 of Eddie Devine. <coughs> Greece for our neighbours magistrate Kingston's court hearing number 61 on Zoom and I do my own Zoom now thanks to Andy Devine bring the Zooms on <coughs> and I can bring them on on one go <coughs> on a Zoom uh, with me and uh, see if I can bring somebody on with him as well from Britain to have a talk about what's happening with um, uh, England, sovereign nations, and our sovereign neighbours, the New Zealand partnership. Okay, so there, that's going to be that, but uh, um, I think I'll go back to the meeting because it's uh, um, disappointing that I've missed, I've got a, an hour <coughs> That's the way it is for now. <coughs> I just want to say that um, I spent quite a bit of time yesterday watching all the videos of Jamie uh, Nuttall, uh, the accountant for uh, Minor um, Accounting, N-Y-A, N-Y-N-A. Very good uh, learning crypto. He's a crypto accountant and he is very experienced in uh, tax affairs for the British Crown government. Law, the new law on the 1st of September 2004 uh, has come out that all crypto um, capital gains tax is personal property or personal um, income for tax. So that includes Bitcoin as well. If you're buying Bitcoin in Europe or in London or anywhere else other than America, uh, under American laws, Bitcoin can be used as Bitcoin AI um, um, not um, accountable for tax um, as they have um, put it under grayscale um, um, trust it's it's a trust called grayscale bitcoin trust um, grayscale bitcoin AI trust ok so that's one of 16 trusts that the IMF and World Bank, uh, America, federal government has set up uh, as allowable that um, uh, Bitcoin is decentralized. That means it has no government control, but the government there has put it in a category that is allowing Bitcoin to carry on with its decentralized fraudulent, money laundering 
Phoenix activity <coughs> stands on its policies to carry on doing what it done. This avoid tax or get away with paying tax and that's not going to happen with the British Crown and they are the daddy of all corporations in the world including America that they would have to pay royalties to the king makers uh, the British Crown estate <coughs> business of Westminster Parliament. Okay, so that's to our advantage here in New Zealand as um, Britain is still our legitimate and legal corporate commercial partner, contract partner. But they have defaulted on our contract. The British Crown and Westminster Parliament has legislated our partnership away into a new marriage with the EU Parliament and Frankfurt, Germany, where all the money and the gold has gone missing from England soil land and gone into Frankfurt, Germany. Okay, so that's the story I've got. I can say everything about it as a surrogate king William the Third of Orange, 1689 War Powers Act to hone in on anyone who breaks our law with King William the Third of Orange and his eight point star of St. Patrick that we have here on our flag. The King William Four flag has the four corners of the earth covered as free passage through the world with um, uh, St. Patrick's Church <coughs> on the eight-point star in the four corners of the small red cross of St. Andrews in Britain. Okay, so there, just the King of Britain, UK. Okay, so then we've got him, King William the Third, 1694, Bank of England Act in the 1694 two-bar Patterson pound note Act that was passed through Westminster Parliament got the royal assent. And then we've got um, King um, George IV, 1823, native um, sovereign lease contract here in New Zealand with Te Waikato for the Hiri of Manukau, Paramount Chief of Cambridge, New Zealand to Cambridge, England and that's um, Manukau Mountain in Arapuni and Pungapunga Marae, Moriori um, um, tribes leader there <coughs> and he's leased land, native leased land sovereign contract <coughs> in 1823. Then we've got King William the um, Fourth, 1830 to 1837, Acts of Westminster Parliament that I'm using in our Native Manufacturing Firms Court, um, uh, and uh, um, his contract with Rafele um, um, for um, in <coughs> Wauku, um, Manukau Harbour. Um, in 1862, much later, the native land that came out for the uh, founding of the New Zealand Auckland um, Territory, uh, which stretched from North Cape, um, Cape Rona, to um, Taupo, past Taupo, all that area was one big Auckland um, and there was Auckland in London so that, that King William the Fourth contract with the flag that he gave um, our paramount chiefs here native, not Maori, native he gave the flag 
Street Native, there was no such thing as man until 1945. <coughs> the war had really begun. And so that was him, King William IV contract. And then 1835, um, Confederation of United Tribes of Old New Zealand flag from him. King William IV as the only dry land flag in the world uh, to Senate Westminster Parliament contract to uh, King William IV for the British Crown lease um, to the land uh, in uh, on Pukekohe and across from the west coast of New Zealand to the east coast of New Zealand that's from Waiuku and the Manukau Harbour Punga Punga, 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 Punga Marae at uh, Cornwallis there to Cornwallis in England so Cornwallis and it's across to uh, um, Pukekohe and um, across the Bombay Hills in midway between the North Island and across to Clevedon on the east coast and then through to Maraitau Beach on right on the east coast of Auckland and that whole part of was made into the 1862 Native Land Act of New Zealand which became the 1862 Native Land Act of Westminster Parliament Britain UK Crown Estate. Okay, so that became the partnership of the contract uh, with Queen Ele Queen Victoria, eighteen thirty seven, after King William IV died. Queen Victoria was his niece, King William IV niece, and she went in to be the monarch and supposed to be Ernest Augustus uh, the first, the third brother of um, King William the fourth and King George the fourth and their father King George the third. Okay, so that was the lineup of those kings that's supposed to be Ernest Augustus the fifth now, he's alive in London, he's the king of our documents and <coughs> my 50 years of research I'm 75 now so makes me um, <coughs> the surrogate king <coughs> of those kings and the surrogate Queen Victoria uh, to be my own competing witness to speak for them and their history uh, of uh, longevity with us and a continuity of sovereignty, both unbroken sovereignty uh, to us right through the years in our Ischiat meant cone, Ischiat meant cone to what I'm saying is our contract uh, still in place with the British Crown um, as long as our flag is flying the King William IV flag is flying, 1835 <coughs> Constitution flag, the 1835 Municipal Corporation flag to protect the land on the land here and everywhere in the world in 257 countries that we're going into uh, with the um, debt collection company that we are wanting to pick up on at the moment. So we're going to um, wait for um, Charlie um, Billy Paul um, from um, Comply Advantage to get in touch with me on the um, video um, call on Zoom um, as um, um, tomorrow now on New Zealand time and Maori time and uh, try again this time I'll have a, a, a sleep and uh, in plenty of time to do it and not miss
is átjöttem. Az napfény azt mondja rám, és rám köszöngő a szívem. Ahol is tart, mire az álmos, ágazói ágazói zár, ágaz, ágaz, ágazói, ólóan sőzni fel lak, az egyes nyilvös reaction, ólóan sőz, Changing, still the same as I was back in 2009. <coughs> right till now, I still got those people who you got the photo, photo in video from um, Zoom court hearings and the native magistrate judge court. It's very difficult for me to get those because that's free nation talk, free nation court in Britain. video like she did. Okay, so we're, that's my lips moving and I'm very much alive and not dead like the deputy trial and all the other courts on dry land are all dead. You're dead in there, but when you're on a live video like this, you're alive and warm-blooded and lips moving. His story or his story or her story is real, okay? Nothing but the truth, so help me God. That's the truth that uh, prevails over the lies, deception, fraud and corruption of money laundering and Phoenix activity is the term that you can call them for um, someone who has reconstructed companies from a liquidated company or a bankrupted company and started up another one with the stolen proceeds and then laundered the money uh, in another country and hiding away under trusts. You can't hide trusts away with this guy. He's very good at what he does. <coughs> um, um, Charlie Bellamy Paul and uh, also you can't get away from <coughs> Jamie Nuttall, um, accountant, um, a crypto specialized accountant for uh, cryptocurrencies and uh, money laundering. And um, um, he's from <coughs> Minor, M Y N A, accountants in London. Okay, so three people from London that I am spearheading this operation with to get to the point of the Mitchell Family Trust that you'll see on 303 companies on my website and it's fully disclosed, that means nobody can take it to court, not even him, Eddie Mitchell, the director of that Mitchell Family Trust and their whole family is liable, okay, they're all liable to Eddie Mitchell and uh, money laundering and <coughs> drugs and all that sort of thing that's tied into um, Phoenix activity. Okay, so I've tried in Australia where he spent the money, 17 trillion, and there's still the thousand trillion to release to New Zealand, and they've all got 970 million, trillion, trillion pound notes on their head. Everybody liable that Eddie has liable, including the Free Nation organization and the Baptist Church and also the um, <coughs> Bar Association, he's liable, <coughs> the barrister that he's got and the Free Nation he's got as well, the Free Nations are liable for the 970 million trillion trillion pound note and everybody else Eddie Mitchell is associated with the crime of the century and the biggest crime in the world that supersedes every other criminal activity or criminal organization. <coughs> and uh, I'm saying 
now we've got four trusts against the IMF World Bank's 16 trusts underneath the Grayscale um, crypto company um, um, in their Ripple, main company Ripple, in the Grayscale is the 16 trusts with Grayscale itself as one trust uh, for the IMF and <coughs> they have got crypto um, companies in those 16 trusts including Bitcoin and Michael Taylor as well he's in there as well and XRP and XLM and a few other crypto companies that they have selected as their elite uh, crypto share company um, that no one else can go into their private affairs okay private corporations and only for billionaires and millionaires that have got 25,000 to invest and 50,000 to invest and deposit into their grayscale <coughs> bank and um, uh, that's how they print money the new grayscale money um, they've got their own ripple net uh, money system and it's all looking like phoenix activity of reconstructed um, fiat currency that's scam it's a big scam fiat currency money came out the US dollar is thin air it's nothing holding it up it had gold holding it up in 18, 1933 they took um, bankrupted America here from here in Mount Hiti New Zealand and bankrupted America and took the gold out <coughs> and made it debtor country and it's always been like that all the way through till now and they're trying to wash up their dirty money in Singapore and start fresh no it's not going to work because I've been tracking it everywhere I've gone to the Australia Banking Association got no answer back and I went to the company's house in Australia no answer back I went to the government tax department no answer back from there and intel no answer back police no answer back all backing up the fraud in Mitchell okay he's got it covered with the army here in New Zealand covering up his dirty little tracks and he won't get away with it because there's too many people know that I'm running court hearings for a long time against him since last year and the time that I've stood with him is he's there in Four Elizabeth Street, registered office in <coughs> Hamilton, Beer Beerus Court, Beer Les Court, 3200 Code in Hamilton. And it's on the 50 page PDF file on the website. And you'll see it there of the whole court hearing, 50 pages of it. Okay, so there, <coughs> our trust, our four trust is called Maui Crown King William III Trust. He's a credit, that's the name, credit. <coughs> that's the first trust. <coughs> the second trust is Maui Crown King William IV, King George IV Trust. Maui Crown King George IV Trust, 1823. And King William the Third's trust was sixteen eighty nine. The Maui Crown King William the Third trust sixteen eighty nine to sixteen ninety four. And that's the second that's the first trust. And the second trust is King Maui Crown King George the Fourth Trust at um, eighteen twenty three. Uh, that's Britain. Westminster, 
And the third trust is Moai Crown Jr. and the fourth trust, 1830 to 1837. And uh, as the flag that he gave us, the Paramount Chiefs, and I'm carrying on as the executor, uh, director of our company to tell the story about him and our chief's um, flag on dry land. Okay, it's the only dry land they've given by Westminster Parliament and the Veterans Crown and the King, uh, William IV, uh, out of all the flags that are in the sea. Okay, every other flag got to go through a courthouse, but I can hold a courthouse anywhere in the world, under the sea, in the sky, on the land, and uh, in my little caravan here in front of me. Okay, so that I run the court hearing from here with my little group, uh, Rata Ta at the East Cape, Chikato and uh, um, uh, Pare Rivers in Whakatane for Kuro. Yeah, okay, so that's our little tree uh, group of the um, Confederation of Chiefs Native Magistrates Court and our federal E State AI Federal Republic Government of Aotearoa New Zealand. So we're running our separate federal government under AI and these AI experts in London, um, Dave um, Nuttall, Clark Townsend and uh, Dirk's recovery business with Charlie um, Beverly Pole, um, uh, Miner, um, not Miner, um, um, yes, Miner is with Jamie Nuttall, the director, and we've got uh, Peter Beverly Pole, the CEO of Compliance Advantage. Um, money laundering um, tech um, recovery and fraud and corruption uh, Phoenix activity money laundering person um, um, in London okay so that's the team meeting I've just missed I'm just filling in for it on this half hour I think I've gone right over it but anyway I'll just carry on until it warns me that it runs out of half an hour. But that was at two o'clock. It's now 3.58. So I'm not going to worry about it. I'll just carry on going until it warns me that the time has run out, the half an hour has run out. <coughs> and I'm just filling in the half an hour. So there we've got the fourth trust is um, Maori Crown King Victoria Trust. Fourth trust. So once again, the first trust we've got is Westminster Partnership. That's me and um, Jamie Nuttall and uh, um, Peter Beverly Pole. We are partners in a two way contract that's unbroken between New Zealand and Chiefs, Paramount Chiefs Confederation of. United Tribes of Aotearoa New Zealand and 257 countries we represent with the native um, uh, title to our sovereign lands. It's sovereign people of today living, breathing and uh, in our court system that we uh, bring in as shareholders in the Ngā Atua Ewa Aotearoa Limited registered company here in New Zealand since 2009 that has one of a trillion shares. So those will be split into the chip coin which is an equivalent to the um, crypto currency. So we're going into the crypto currency with Britain, uh, UK, Westminster Parliament and the government and the British Crown is staked for the first time in the world, their own crypto, they are <coughs> have passed a law that it is personal property um, on tax gain of 
subscribe, then when it's cached into fiat money or cached into British pound notes or euros or any other currency in Britain at least and dare I say it, every other colonised country in the world including America that was colonised by King George IV of Westminster Parliament and the British Crown Estate that uh, they will be subject to British tax um, royalties. They will have to pay tax on all the crypto trusts in America. That's what I'm saying is to be proven yet by Jamie Nutter saying that so far they are researching the accountants, minor accountants in London M-Y-N-A accountants are crypto accountants, okay, they're cryptocurrency accountants as well as conventional accountants as well, and they've got um, uh, Jane, James K <coughs> as a tax consultant for you, he can teach you all about, um, train you to all about so he's very good. I've got him on videos on our website as well. So those three people are very, very experienced at what they are as directors and CEOs of their companies. Uh, Jamie Nuttall, uh, CEO, director of Nina, M-Y-N-A, um, accountants for crypto. And then you've got James K. Um, he's more or less um, um, you know, consultant for tax, setting up the tax for Jamie in the British Crown. And uh, James K. has his own company, um, Coin Lee, crypto company, Coin Lee, C O I N L Y. <coughs> the best crypto and that are what I'm doing learning from him on his videos and learning from Jamie on his videos as well and then we've got um, <coughs> uh, comply advantage um, tax uh, or tax avoidance or criminal fraud status in the crypto world and his name is Peter Belling Paul in London as well. Three people living in London are partners there. That's what I'm saying until they can see that we do have a likeness of character in the British Crown crypto world and also the British Crown business of corporations and corporate um, commercial contracts to adhere to the British law of the land of England, okay? England law of the land, right? <coughs> Laws of England and not so much uh, the British UK, but England sovereign soil land <coughs> as government bonds is your sovereignty to the land that you live on that's under the control of a crown corporation from another country <coughs> like here New Zealand is still under British crown over the top of the New Zealand crown which is humbug it's not real it's a pretend government in Wellington uh, beehive and they've got the photos their photos on this court as well and while I'm talking here, I'm on a court um, um, panel here by myself until we do have a Zoom court hearing. So I won't have a 30-minute court hearing. I'll have longer than that when I get more um, into the um, Zoom extension, <coughs> um, more than 30 minutes. So I have to pay extra for the, the long... Zoom 
uh, wear them out and you got court hearings. <coughs> okay? <coughs> you could probably conduct a full on court hearing in front of the public, in front of your judge, I mean, in front of you here uh, today and get um, laptop and this um, case stop I'm talking straight into on camera, but I'm trying to record it and see if it will record this time <coughs> on the desktop and but it's on the uh, laptop at the moment which is not that flash a picture but at least I've got a copy of it and I didn't do that yesterday because the laptop wouldn't go and uh, so here we are today so there we go we've got four bank creditors companies um, trusts um, against the IMF um, and the World Bank um, using fiat currency that's come from a one bar unpatented pound note of the Rothschild banks that's got a 970 million trillion trillion pound note on its head and it's Bank of England I'm going through the Bank of England as partners to uh, the British Crown and the Crown of England, sovereign land, <coughs> right? <coughs> and Scotland has run away. It's gone and cashed in its British Crown estate um, uh, partnership. And it's left England and Wales and Northern Ireland and Northern Ireland is going to make a run for it too and try and keep the money and the Crown Estate part of the Northern Ireland where all the washed up fraud is, companies that are corporations that is the biggest, uh, richest country in the world is Ireland, Northern Ireland, what about South, South Ireland, Ireland and South Ireland here? Right, so we've got the Ulster North Ireland here and Ulster Northern Ireland there, and then we've got Munster South Ireland here and Southern Ireland, Ireland over there. And we are partners with Leinster as the Middle Ireland <coughs> and Stewart Island here too. And the British um, Crown, uh, Captain Cook, came through Cook Islands and then came through to Chatham Islands and then met the Manukau tribesmen there, that's the Moriori there, and then came from there here, okay, to um, Kaipara Harbour and the Magistrate Court of New Zealand was set up there at Awaroa, which is Helensville now, and that was Awaroa Naked Magistrate Court there, set up the Awaroa Bank of New Zealand there uh, in Helensville at 20 Commercial Street, Helensville, where the Coast Guard land block is still there, there, next to the Caltex service station, and it's still got Mohi Kumati Manukau as the paramount chief of the time, owner on that land block, and I've taken his success <coughs> story as a successor to his Freemason 50 years uh, there, and uh, he's paramount chief of the Kaipara harbour and uh, we worked together on the Moai Kaipa turbine project with him for six years. I lived there with his brother Te Tana Manukau in Raka Street, I think it's at 43, Raka Street, just down from the school there and the 10 acre block that was cut into separate mortgage lands big enough that 2,000 square metre or less size 
and uh, from a big block of land and I've got all those titles and all the history on the Kaipara and the Moriori tribe was in Mori Manukau and his stories and I succeeded to his title as the Freemasonry Certificate of Land Transfer of all lands in New Zealand and the world from there. The blueprint I hold, that blueprint for all 257 native sovereign countries in the world of using that title there and through the 1862 Native Land Act of the Lords of the Manukau and the British 1862 Native Land Act that's come from there, okay, <coughs> and Hillington, and from um, Kupunga, Marae, and Cornwallis, Huia, in the Manukau Harbour, see, Manukau Harbour, the Moriori Manukau, nobody else, not Maori, was no Maori back then, that was only in 1945 when they had the Maori land court from the native land court transfer of the land to the British Crown and those kings that I told you um, into the Crown Estate that I'm here to challenge the British Crown Estate in Ishtiat land claiming of what I'm saying is my own competing witness and I do think and my left memory is very much alive and not dead influence on Helena. <coughs> so there, <coughs> what I say is the truth, nothing but the truth, and nothing in God that's true. What I say in law is the law that prevails. If no one refutes what I'm saying on the video, in those 50 pages on Eddie Mitchell's court case, nobody said nothing all the way through and including the court case on the Cook Street uh, 61 or 74 Cook Street or 98 Willesley Street uh, in Auckland City. I've got that claim running as well and a mortgage lien on that as a mortgage bank broker. So that's what I am, a mortgage lien bank broker with the National Bank and Clive Merrick back then when I had my real estate ticket in 1996 when I had the business running there as a mortgage broker and also real estate um, salesman for Harvey Real Estate in Wimmera and also New Zealand Realties uh, Limited in Ipsen two real estate companies I worked for and went there to learn the trade and not to make money, or I didn't go there to make money, <coughs> and uh, but um, to just pick up how it works. And I'm learning what Edie did with Phoenix activity and money laundering, which led me right into the um, magistrate court in Edinburgh, where all the land titles had been registered with New Zealand, Pacific Islands and the world there um, with what I'm saying <coughs> the transfer of sovereign native lands of the countries they have colonised and put into the British Crown Estate business of which is fine ok so that's that well that's that up and I think that was all I needed to say for this session of a Zoom hearing and once again I apologise humbly that I'm rushing here at 2am uh, because of uh, failing to wake up on time. I'm usually up at this time and uh, how about I've only got to the gym for the first time for a few weeks and uh, paying for it when I'm not there this comes first, <coughs> the work comes first, and then the gym comes second, okay, and 
in our family and so it means comes third. Okay, so they are the wonderful family that I've been with over six years now. I will dare and promise them I will help them because they are poor as well in such staggered price, but it's better than nothing. And um, um, Rosemary uh, Bento and uh, the kids, um, Kisaya, Jemima, and Kevin is my adopted family. Yes, um, Chloe, my family, they'll see they'll look after me when I get older. I think um, I'm doing all right so far and haven't seen them for a long time, but hopefully very soon when it gets sorted out with just um, four business that's gone on and stop me. That money, 17 trillion, is supposed to be to build the biggest. Um, tidal turbine project in the world to enhance energy uh, sustainability of the sea power uh, or hydraulics and the project has cost about 55 billion to build it's um, four kilometers long and a hundred kilometers 100 uh, meters wide uh, platform bridge on legs that go right down deep <coughs> to the seabed and physically attach um, a four-story building uh, onto the bridge platform and the airport on the top and it's got hotels and underwater hotels as well as fishing facilities um, processing packaging and export by plane straight there and the big um, Antonov can land on it on the platform bridge in the middle of the ocean and top up with hydrogen jet fuel. All rockets can fly off it as well, all around the world. This was the biggest project ever that I've had as a mechanic. That's my trade, diesel, heavy machinery mechanic for forest products in Tokoro, using forest products. Um, <coughs> now it's called Kara Hull <coughs> uh, Paper Mills there in Kinglings, Tokoro. That was my earlier years as a mechanic. Um, we had 300 mechanics back then and um, very busy all day and night, three shifts, and around the clock, change around from midnight to eight, eight to four, four to midnight. Three shifts, change around every week, and good pay job. And before that, I worked on an oil rig as the DJ mechanic um, for a number of years and uh, learned a lot from drilling for oil <coughs> in um, Tikoya. And then the rig was in um, um, across the Waiaku River there. And um, it, um, what's that place called now? It just slipped me. Over there in Tupareo, Rotoro, that area there in Awanui, where I've got to learn in Awanui um, area beach, Awanui beach there in Rotoro. <coughs> got some land over there as well as 223 other lands on the east coast and Wairo and Apostle and Omaha shares there under the Maori family court. So there, that's all that, but that's all changed now because the government turned it back on Maori in Wellington, the Crown there, the private company, and they changed the name from Queen and Right of New Zealand to Sovereign Crown of New Zealand. <coughs> they got a new flag, the Cindy Pierre Governor General has got her own flag and it's the flag of New Zealand with her crown that was given to her, her in the government house in Auckland, put on her head, is on their flag. 
then they only bring it out when they want to on certain days. So we are challenging her and her crown of New Zealand with the kingdom and the fourth crown and those kings that are um, surrogate kings, William the Third, surrogate king, William the Fourth and surrogate king, George the Fourth and surrogate Queen Victoria. And I'm a surrogate for her as well as a surrogate for Maureen from Ahimanago of um, Kaipara Harbour and I've succeeded to his claim as a paramount chief for him to keep his story going as his surrogate care, a surrogate paramount chief which is equal to a king and surrogate for Te Rau Waikato Sarajevo in Manukau and surrogate for Rewhera for Manukau in Falkland and three Manukau um, surrogate for and their family can never be a surrogate in a commercial contract that I am with um, with Britain, UK and these people that I'm talking to as their legal and legitimate sovereign native partner. Okay, the sovereigns of England so I am and me the sovereign of Aotea New Zealand <coughs> um Moriori Manukau land. Okay? Just under the title transfer of the Freemason to the British Crown with the Moriori Manukau's name on it, the Rogan judges in Awaroa Hernsville, John Rogan, married Marae Marae Manukau, and uh, Dick Rogan married um, Boraiti Wano in Puroera Te Araroa, that's where I come from, that's my connection to the Rogan Irish, Rogan Scottish, joint um, people, uh, family in the Crown Corporation, judges, courts, so I'm here, the brain is clicked into the white side of me, and also into the Cosgroves, okay, um, Cosgroves at James Cosgrove at uh, East Cape, married the Wano, okay, he picked out Wano and Cosgrove, that's our family in Ireland, okay, the, they came straight to the East Coast, Gisborne, <coughs> and through Rotoria, the Cosgroves are there, but we never talk to each other, but my people fall on the kids and the generation I'm here for, setting it all up for them to carry on our British UK connection to those four countries, Ireland, England, Wales and Scotland. Okay, so I'm there for them from my white brain to those brains here and now there's brains in London live like me. Okay, so there are those those crowns <coughs> and then <coughs> I'm there for um, for um, the rest of the country here who need to learn how um, how the history was thrown under the mat in uh, the beehive in Wellington they're starting to get rid of all their Maori stuff now because they made it up in their head see so I'm I'm here for all those people who have been duped out of their land, Maori land, because the Pākehās in the government in Wellington with their Maori politicians and MPs and their affiliates out in the councils, the Maoris and the Pākehās working together hand in hand, trying to be co-government with each other with a Japanese Maori Governor General running the whole sham show. Okay? She's the director of that new registered company, Crown Sovereign of New Zealand. See? Chuck the other name away, Crown and Right of New Zealand, and put a new one in. And Japanese flag. Okay? Japanese Maori flag with her crown that was supposed to be only for British royalty 
and threw away the British stuff, but kept the crown and discarded everything that we set up in Britain. There's no Maori over there in Parliament. There's only natives. Okay, the Maori came out of that Maori group in Wellington Parliament. Okay, their law to pick up the l land rent is still using Blair for Manukau's 1862 Native Land Act to pick the rent up with Te Rawaikato Whareheri Manukau's lease contract. I'm holding the lease contract as Te Rawaikato Whareheri Manukau's lease contract. I'm holding the lease contract as a contract legal advocate, not a lawyer. I'm not a lawyer, but I know just as much or more than a lawyer knows. And the lawyer has to make a video affidavit to swear on his two feet as a competing witness against me with this going on in my head. It's not going to go away until I pass it on to the next generation of young people and I've got those next running down with me in London. That's Jamie Nuttall and uh, um, uh, James Kay and uh, uh, Peter Baringhole, Pole, Baring Pole, <coughs> three young brains and my old brain that never goes away can't stop learning. You'll always be learning once you get into the habit as a mechanic to fix big problems. I can't fix the computer um, vehicles now because that needs the computer to do it. It's brain. The computer brain fix it, not my brain. <coughs> I'm out of that now. I just make ideas of the big tidal turbine heads that will spin out 55 billion Moai pound notes worth every year. Okay, that's punked everywhere in the world. So we're supposed to start at Ranfurly Bank in New Zealand. That train's been going for a long time. And we're supposed to start at Perth in the Kaipara Harbour. That plan got accepted by Contract Energy and Trust Power. Transpower, Energy, and uh, um, Vector Power Company. Three power companies have put the letter on my website from them to say they'll go with the idea of the tidal turbine heads. It's huge. <coughs> Steel and concrete, tons of it. <coughs> and it can go longer. If we want more power, we just make the heads go longer and longer than four power heads. So if you get failure to take off, you can carry on going and stay grounded. Okay, so there. It's a long bridge with four storeys on, I think, or higher, but four storeys is high enough. It's got hotels, um, motels, and hotels, and apartments, business, processing plant for fish, meat, um, and I'm trying to keep away from freezing uh, food. It flies out fresh the same day and gets to where it's going uh, pretty well, much fresh and, and fresh produce and fresh meat, fresh from the land flown there and then packaged. All the packaging is done there, the processing is done there. <coughs> it should hold three to five thousand people and employ three to five thousand people. Okay, so there, that's what this is on a grand scale and Pricewaterhouse Coopers and uh, Philip Taylor was then the boss but now he's with um, a power company in New Plymouth and uh, he was, he approved the whole thing. I met me and came to see me at my home and uh, I've been um, uh, holding on to all that stuff until I get the power going and the money and Eddie Mitchell pinched the money that's supposed to go there for his family. It's not for his family. 17 trillion was never put together by the family of the Mitchells family trust. Never 
constructed this stand to get 17 trillion and now it's up to Charlie and Bering Pole to find out that what I'm saying is the truth. It came from my brain, the brown Tahitian royal family, the royal Tahitian Wanoa family on Easter Island, uh, Tipitok, the Tipito, birth of the world at Anakena Marae, the bit of stones to Tipito Eastgate Marangaro Marae, <coughs> and it's in the Marae building, nothing open, so I wanted to build a Marae of stone heads up the top of Tipito, the rising sun, first in the world at 6 a.m., and the Marae put back up there, the Marangaro Marae. The original name they changed to Awatene Marae, which this mischief Maoris and Pakeas and Yohans and Bihai and Parama Bering changed the name of all the native names in the country and put their own chiefs on it. Well, I'm going to put our own chief on it to the Marangaro land blocks that are still there, but the Marae name Marangaro is gone and took my grandfather out of there, great grandfather, Matali Wani, and put uh, the um, uh, woman in there, my, my uh, grand grandmother, in there, and replaced um, Matali in the following Mary. <coughs> and for me, it put me off all these years and put my brother off as well, really, <coughs> off, and he took the photo of my uh, Matali Wani back home left um, um, Jafari there as the woman of the Marae and that's where it's gone wrong the Maoris stuffed the whole blooming history up and made it contemporary history from a traditional history of native title okay, and put the Maori title in there and professors um, history in on top of my traditional history of paramount chiefs and kings and emperors, paramount chiefs on the island, and not Ariki, where they've gone to with the Ariki, well in Kupari there's Ariki, that's fine over there, but here in New Zealand, no, no, they practice Maori in the Cook Islands, but they don't practice Maori here in New Zealand as law, it's law in the Cook Islands, but not law here, it's Pakeha's law here in New Zealand. Okay, why not have Maori law of the land here, where all the Maoris are? Okay, the Maoris in the head, the natives in the blood, DNA, the natives of where you come from with your surname. That's what I'm saying. You get screened when you come into a native court to have a claim to one of a trillion shares. Um, in Na Atua Ewa Ofe Limited. See, it's got a meaning, that name, Na Atua Ewa Ofe Limited, and the word Wanoa has got a meaning to it too, means the <coughs> um, Wa forever and Noa the law. L O R E, truth. Wanoa, that's the name there, and Na Atua Ewa is the Atua or God in the corporate world and English British is God Almighty and Atua is the creator of heaven and earth and the universe that's who we go to the universe to pray to Makemake Make, Brown Planet Dwarf Planet out there in the universe and that's where the Pope has gone to deal him too and the Americans have stolen it too as Brown Town, the planet Makemake, in NASA, in America. Some more fraud, heaps of fraud. When they take it into a SGR minute train, they can't stick there where they got that before their research. Research, the research already. Where were they researching in the rocks? It's all in the rocks, carved out in the rocks, you see? And 
the Freemasons went straight for the rocks as being the moral. The moral statue standing in London is the memorial to their instrument docking of Queen Victoria. She stole the moais all over the world. See, she stole them. She stole the one here in New Zealand, or, or Queen Elizabeth rather, stole the one in Dunedin with a crown on her chin. And that's my claim, DNA, to Easter Island where they come from, and my Wa Noa family. <coughs> wa, beginning of time and space, and Noa, N O A, law in the middle of the Marae. Manuhiri, it is just at the gate, and the Noa in the middle, weaver of the weapons at the gate, and Karanga in with the woman. That's what the women do. They look after the kai to feed the visitors, look after the marae, and welcome them in with a song into the paipa, where the chiefs are, the men. The men are replaced now with the woman talking. When the woman talks, the mana is gone from the male. The man loses his status because the woman wants to take over and drive the truck, drive the bus, drive the plane. They want to be king. Okay, the queen wants to be king. And King King Tuhetia has passed away and taking his legacy with him to Niue Island where he comes from. Okay, now you've got a queen and what's that queen gotta do now that there's a king in the courts? Hmm? You got Charlie in the courts? And who did they swear their oath of office to in the courts? Queen Elizabeth is still in the court with the Maori. They can't take it down because it costs millions and millions to replace all the documents with the Queen's head on it. They left it there for Cindy Kiro to swear their oath to the Queen and Cindy Kiro. In the Parliament of Wellington, they swear the politicians swear their oath of office to Cindy Kiro with the crown on her head. Right? They don't swear to Charlie. They swear their oath of office to Charlie in their courts here in New Zealand and in the other colonised countries. 38 of them, I think. Out of the 38, might be less now. It's getting less and less because the crown in England is corrupted with that bloodline, family, and King Charles, paedophile, and he's with, um, with um, Epstein, Epstein, and that's the guy I was trying to think of, Epstein is who Peter, Charlie, Ch Charlie, um, bearing pole, the, um, <coughs> Comply Advantage um, Money Laundering uh, Company is going after. He's going after um, that guy and and what he did with those uh, poor girls that got claims against him, Epstein, Epstein, and uh, the, his island paradise where Bill Gates and Donald Trump and all those politicians and all those bad people went there to screw little girls and boys, right? That's in the mind. And and it's it's filthy Satan stuff that they have rituals, still rituals, in the Freemasons um, and the Illuminati and the Cabal um, companies, corporate companies, that are screwing the corporate law to make money out of King William III of Orange legacy of Admiralty Law of the Sea and Admiralty Law of the Land in New Zealand with the flag on dry land at Waitangi Marae, which is belongs to the Crown in Wellington. They took over all the Marais and controlled them with money from dirty money. The fear dirty money in America is dirty money. That's what um, Peter, Char Charlie, um, 
very poorly sent, dirty money, and he could have been locked up in jail, but he didn't get locked up. He was telling a story on his video. I watched all his videos. I watched all Jamie Knuckles' um, accounting videos, and I've watched James Kay's videos as well with um, 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 Jamie Knuckles' um, crypto accounting specialist and minor MYMA accountants of the British Crown, uh, Westminster Parliament and the government um, of the day and the um, law of the land of England, okay? <coughs> the sovereignty, native living people on the video that's um, uh, talking to, to me soon. Um, um, Jamie Knuckles will be with me on Wednesday and uh, at the right time I will make sure I don't miss that on his Zoom, not mine, on his Zoom. And uh, I'll try and get on with uh, Comply Advantage and uh, with uh, uh, Charlie uh, Bellamy Lowell on his um, Zoom with um, the other companies that he's talking to that was six months ago and two years ago and four years ago. I watched all those videos and learned. It's always a learning experience for me to pass on my information for free. I don't buy nothing. It's not in me to do that. It's not in the best interest of the Pacific Island Polynesian people to um, be in a um, world of money. They don't um, pray to money gods. They pray to their own ancestors that fought against the white man's law <coughs> of Westminster Parliament and the colonizers of their country in the Pacific Islands and I'm one of them that is always against money but sooner or later you join them if you can't beat them join them <coughs> so that that's how he goes so anyway I think that's enough for now and uh, that will keep me on the phone for a few more weeks then and uh, catch me again tomorrow hopefully I can get on to the show with um, um, uh, Charlie um, uh, Bellamy Hole on one of the other shows that I've sent an invite to but I'll send an email to one of the companies that uh, Charlie is being interviewed with and set up a Zoom on their Zoom channel if I can't get Charlie tomorrow on my Zoom after practice with Andy on 61 Native Magistrate Court uh, Kingston's Court hearings, that's live with Andy Devine in Greece, for he is an expat of England, Troy Owen, and uh, as far as I know, that um, he's been with me all the time flying the flag in Greece, flying our Kenyan and 4th 1835 um, Confederation of the United Tribes flag <coughs> and he firmly believes in it and the people of Greece that he talks to know about that flag has free passage through the world so it's not as though it's a new flag by the Finnish Bureau Governor General it's a new flag through the old one away the, the 1902 um, um, flag of of Maoris, the Union Jack flag, 1902, the Australian one is 1901, similar flag, threw it in the rubbish and put her own flag up and said, I'm the owner of New Zealand. No, not so. Not so, Senator Bureau. Your photo is in the court hearing of the 50 pages, the debt of 970 million trillion trillion pound note, Len indictment Len mortgage is on your head to pay that bill and it will be there forever with your photo 
firmly there. You can't take off. No reason why you can't say that that's there because it's British landlords of England that's running this show. Okay, so I'm under them and partners to them as Nathan said legally to Nathan said legally to the land <coughs> and Scotland saw land and Wales saw land and Northern Ireland saw land as British Crown partners still thick institutional wishes line cannot be changed on the marriage of our partnership unless we change it but we are not about to change the law. They are changing, but not us. We haven't agreed to sever our contract yet. That's what I'm in New Zealand for, to sever our contract and to wind it up and settle the Crown account, the Crown estate account with Queen Elizabeth, Queen Victoria, and not settle our King William the Third's contract, not sever the King George the Fourth contract, not sever the King William the Fourth contract with us, and keep those firmly intact with Jamie and Nuttall and James K and uh, Charlie and Bernie Cole. Okay, those three natives of England saw land me and Ralph the car and in other rivers and our contract partnership okay commercial contract partnership and legitimacy of a marriage that's still intact extant forever more cannot be changed unless we say so on behalf Mohi Tanaki Manukau, Rufa for Manukau, and Tirawakato for the Hindu of Manukau. Those who that I represent as the surrogate king and paramount chief, and unless I say it's severed, those contracts will never be severed underneath a Charlie paedophile king of Westminster City. And New Zealand courts, but not the Parliament. They don't have Charlie as their oath of office. They have Sindigura, the Japanese Maori, as their oath of office. And that's pretty odd. You know, you would say, Charlie, you'd say that sort of sounds like fraud and uh, something corruption, something made up something pretending government and something not real but an illusion that's trying to spin it out there with Jacinda Ardern and the you know thing that thing to change people's DNA into something Satanish <coughs> and She's disappeared, just like a puff of wind, gone, into a bit of dust. Okay, same with uh, Matapalai, Jerry Matapalai, went to England as a <coughs> um, ambassador to New Zealand, and Maori at that. Everything Maori is turned to custard now because they designed it as foreign, as co-government, and that's what they're doing now co-government with um, um, her name that um, Anthony James the partner with the glasses she's still with them and she won't talk to them she won't talk to them and say something to me in a video won't, they won't and that for Raina uh, who got arrested in Germany was with her and Stu Peters was with her as well, talking it up. Where's Stu Peters? Disappeared. Gone. I don't see him no more, talking it up. Okay? All Americans, big mouth. Talk it up. 
and disappear. Disappear. Right? They don't last long because they weren't made to last like the Mars statue. Everything stone lasts. It lasts. And the Maoris got wooden memorials that get burnt. They burnt them alive, Jack. These horrible British people came here, colonists, came here and burnt all them alive. And that's what they did. They're still like that now. Believe it or not, they're still murdering people to keep power. Anything to keep power. And even the tax department, they're going to tax more and more and more. And Michael Saylor, the American, says, oh, we are decentralized. We don't have laws, tax laws, government laws, are non-existent with Bitcoin. Well, that's what the big mouth American says. But the British say, ah, not so. Where did you get your baby's bottle milk from? Hmm? You got it from us in Britain. That's what. So you listen to us. The law is new now. Everything crypto, including your Bitcoin, is taxable income. You can't say decentralized anymore in Britain because we've ruled on it that you can't get away with fraud tax evasion and corruption of the legal system that you can get away with it in America. Anything in America to break laws. They really break them. And that's what Michael Saylor is doing. Breaking the British law. Because they said, well, we've got off the milk bottle in Britain now. We're on our own. We can do what we like. Not so. Not in an original court of record. Where did you get onto the land from? Who? Which king? And you uphold paying us royalty. You must pay royalty for your Bitcoin to Britain and me. Michael Saylor, I'm saying this out aloud because I've got a loud mouth too. Okay? You've got a loud mouth there with your Bitcoin making 10x, 100x, 1000x, a million x, a trillion x. So, the British crown is just as clever to do the same thing with their crypto law that is on top of the law that was already there. That's what Jamie Nutter was saying. The law was already there for crypto. They just didn't use it. And now they're using it and passed the law on the 1st of September. And it's really law of England where you came from Michael Saylor your surname comes from there the white man against the white man it's law L-O-R-E against law L-O-W of IMF and Rosie uh, Rios the director of Ripple is the director of the IMF World Bank the same woman that says, I'm the richest woman in the world, with 1.8 trillion, she put in as a billionaire with the dirty fiat money into her ripple driving force company of Grayscale. See, all in the mind. Grayscale trust that she's hiding all her fraud, crypto, in the trust, just like Edie Mitchell with 17 trillion, he's richer than her with stolen money or my brain, this brown one, in white and brown, black and white minstrel. Hmm? It works both ways. It works both ways. And there, you say it, um, um, Rosie Rios, the director of Ripple and director of um, Grayscale, 16 trusts. You are now against Westminster for trusts. King William III, Morrow Crown Trust, creditor, Bank of England creditor, 
and go up against Malai Crown, King George the Fourth Trust, and go up against Malai Crown, King William the Fourth Trust, and go up against Malai Crown, Queen Victoria, eighteen thirty four Trust. Okay, that's all the trust you're up against with your 16 crypto trust against these Maui chip coin trust in equivalent to your crypto trust and see what's going to happen there with a two bar pound note debt instrument on your head hmm? to forfeit you And bankrupt you out of business. Okay, if you don't refute what I'm saying, Rosie Rios, director of Grayscale Trust in America, IMF, and World Bank against the Bank of England, and me, you have to refute this fear affidavit of truth. I'm saying you are money laundering Phoenix activity <coughs> terminology in the crypto world. And you must refute this fear, otherwise it's the law of Westminster Parliament, the British Crown Law and the Law of England sovereign soil land and the land laws of New Zealand 1862 Native Land Act and the 1862 Native Land Act of Westminster Parliament England soil native land ok there that's you versus me Rosie Rios and you are in a criminal activity organization in the IMF and also with the WEF and the WHO and NATO and also with the federal government there in America as well. You know you're breaking the British law and I'm pulling you up on to challenge Okay, this is my own Zoom hearing by myself and my two colleagues. Three in a quorum that makes these videos legal and legitimately possible. Put it that way, because they are with me when I'm by myself. They are always with me on the phone. Okay, they're watching and listening when I put it up and they see it, it becomes the law, what I'm saying. They are there in backing behind it and with our partnership married to England, sovereign soil land people. Still, today's world goes on with the crypto world on top of it as well as the traditional history of See you later. It's now 4.59, 5 a.m. in the morning. So I've been going two hours flat out. Okay, so 30 minutes is always two or three hours in a native court hearing. So I'm just liking this to a native court hearing video affidavit. It's ready to go into a native court hearing anytime to add on to existing 61, number 61 court hearing with Andrew Devine. So I'm really saying I'm attaching it to the next public court hearing. This is more so an extension to the next 62 Zoom 
Nature of Nature Day called Dreaming Kids. Nature of Nature Day called Dreaming Strange Hearing. The next one will be number 62. Zoom called Hearing, which won't be yet until I get in touch with um, um, Charlie uh, up in and um, Jamie, my boy, and um, Charlie Billy Pole and um, James K and also Jamie Knuckles when I get in touch with them after that there'll be a court hearing to justify our partnership marriage is still very much a continuity of sovereignty to the British Crown and the Crown of England and um, um, our King Ernest Augustus the fifth He's still alive here. He'll be about 80 now, and uh, a bit older than me, I think. I think might be the same age as me, 75, might be older. I don't know, but uh, he is still the king of our documents as being a line of continuity of sovereignty to King um, William IV and King George the Fourth, King George the Third, and um, King William the Third of Orange, Duchy, from the Dutchman to the German, <coughs> from the Frenchman, um, King William the First, King um, William the Conqueror, eighteen sixty six, Frenchman. Okay, from the Frenchman to the Dutchman to the German, to back to the Englishman now that are alive talking to me, the three Englishmen <coughs> that are there for the British Westminster Parliament to thrash out the fraud in there. It's an England soil sovereign land, not a foreign Islam country. It's not a Muslim country. It's got full of Muslims now because the British white men put them there themselves. The Queen Elizabeth put them there with the Rothschilds and Queen Victoria. The woman fucked it up. Okay, the woman bloodline stuffed up our marriage and went their way, but they're holding intact with the king. King to king to king to king to king. And King me a surrogate king to King William the Fourth the last king alive. <coughs> okay, him is straight to me and um, 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 with the flag. We are holding the flag to keep William and me going and not Prince William there because he's down the wrong bloodline, monarch, family and um, <coughs> not the right one. Okay, so there. All right, so we'll see you later. Bye for now. Today is Wednesday, Tuesday today, the 24th of September 2024. Saying bye-bye for now. <coughs> you, the world, converting, bomb, convert, meeting, recording. have a recording that needs to be converted before then. <coughs> oh, it's converting the meeting now. <coughs> I'm just watching it converting the meeting now. There's four percent. Ah, oh, now I know. <coughs> now I know. See, I'm learning now. I'm supposed to do this when the court, when it's finished while I'm calling it a court hearing. Just every video I do is a court hearing by myself because all the books are here in my bag as a magistrate, um, portable magistrate by myself. <coughs> but when Pare Rivers and Rabata 
join me up soon um, in normal hours, then it becomes a court hearing. All right, I'm saying it's a court hearing by myself anywhere I talk on the video. It's an extension of the next court hearing, which will be number 62 after Ed and <coughs> Andy <coughs> when we're uh, together. Pare, Pare Rivers and Robert Takar and me on the video doing a court hearing. We'll be there and I'll be running the show on the video. And we'll do a 30 minute court hearing to put this um, video court hearing in with it too. It's converting the meeting recording. It's 19% at the moment. So I'm going to stay on the laptop and keep recording on the laptop and watching it recording convert meeting recording zoom workplace <coughs> and it says stop converting so I'm waiting for it to convert which is good really because this is what I wanted to do yesterday but I turned it off without looking at it recording after I finished <coughs> so it's converting to zoom um, zoom um, recording video it's turning into a video now from me being live from live to a video which is very good that's what I wanted to do with a better picture over there on the desktop computer and sound the sound will be much clearer than this one so there I'll keep going on the laptop and we've gone over two hours now which is normal for me to keep talking and rambling on and on and on and on when it's factual evidence of what I say is the truth and law L O R E and the truth in L A W <coughs> King's Law of England. <coughs> That's what they say. Law of England. Not Britain. England. <laughs> See it's very, very construed language and lettering. Capital letters is corporate small letters is your real self that they've taken your trust over with little printing and the big printing is you the corporation and that's where they hide all their dirty work <coughs> it's now sitting on 44% see that's what I was waiting for this now I know because the box came up and it just says stop converting but I'll just leave it converting oh it's getting cold now I took something off before my jacket hang on a second just stay there for a second that's why I'm coughing because I can't feel the cold I haven't got my heater on as well window is closed so I'll put my heat on when the food I don't feel the cold but I'll warm it up anyway put my heat on warm it up <coughs> that's better yeah that's better I'll warm it up now it's sitting on 55%. It's recording this time, buddy, in Rabata. Thank goodness, because I'll be talking to myself for nothing, and I can get a better video afterwards when this one is done on the laptop, which is better than nothing. That I meant to do that yesterday, but I didn't have the laptop running properly and didn't set it up um, at. Um, at the right time and and uh, so I went on without it <coughs> and
and didn't recall yesterday's Zoom meeting. But anyway, I'm learning how to do Zoom, and so far so good. But for 30 minutes, well, this is long, this one, and uh, just let it run for me for two hours. say so. So at the moment I won't ignore that. <coughs> I know they give me 40 minutes free but 30 minutes free and so I'm just getting used to it. So if they know that I've got to keep myself at 75, being older they should be a little bit lenient for me to learn at that age. When you get to this age, you don't bother that much, sort of thing, trying to be a geek at computer. But I know enough when I type, it's only one key at a time, one finger, boom, boom, boom. That's how I did it. All my writings, all my things are one finger, tap, tap, tap at a time. <coughs> we can't go and type properly. I went to the school to learn how to type but I found it no, it wasn't good to type not my daughter, she thinks I'm flat out but I can't do that I, I can't do that I'm just old fashioned I guess, but it still comes out the same you still come with a lot of mistakes and don't fix them you don't bother editing I'm an engineer mechanic, not a typist. So I don't profess to be a typist or a book writer for that matter, but I write my own book. I had, um, I had a Chinese guy that was going to do, um, be an ambassador for me. I forget what his name now is. But anyway, I can still take him up on it. But I'm writing my own story as I go along, so there is no need for him anymore. See? So, yeah, I won't bother with that. 94% now, just about finished, we'll see what happens. And then I'll just keep recording on my laptop till I see what's going to happen here on the desktop. I won't shift the laptop because I want to switch off, so I'll just leave it alone, leave it like that. I think I might go down the next track here. <coughs> now I've got a cold. Is that a flippy cold? jacket on, I need to put this jacket on, keep me warm, but I don't put the heater on at night, I've got the dehumidifier on, but that's sucking all the water out of the caravan um, to make sure it's dry, but it's making it cold, I've got the heater on now to warm it up, but it's not terribly cold at the moment, so <coughs> now I'm sniffing. I'm, I'm sure I wasn't talking into the mic. I was talking the mic to the laptop because it's not good at picking sound up on its own without a mic. So yeah, it's sitting on 99% now. And we're meeting recording. And now it says folder, make new folder, it says make new folder. 
found the fish net from a way you would start to be cool from to be safe. Tuesday, 14 September 2024. Okay, there, yeah, that's the folder. And save. Save. It's going in there now. It's gone in. And done. It's done. Join the meeting. Well, now I can make another meeting I'll just join the meeting join the meeting by clicking join you agree to our terms meeting ID admin oh no I don't want to join the meeting I'll, I'll just cancel join the meeting with face no just leave that for now and check the inbox. Browse in your shadow box. Now, all done. All done. Very good. Now I can end the video on the laptop at 5.18 a.m. <coughs> that was from 3 o'clock, 2 hours, 18 minutes this Zoom call went on for as a um, Zoom meeting that's um, going to be put on for tomorrow. I'll set it up for tomorrow because I didn't get to talk to Charlie um, on the Okay, we'll cut the video off on the laptop now, and we'll catch you later. Bye for now.